There is a subtle difference between Ayurvedic medicines and phytopharmaceutical, although there is a lot of commonalities. So the knowledge that we are deriving, of course, is from traditional knowledge system, such as those from tribals and whatever. But in a strictest sense, it cannot be called as an Ayurvedic medicine. As its uh, efficacy is already proven in Delhi, uh, so how it is beneficial for uh, COVID-19? Yeah, so I wouldn't call efficacy is proven against Dengue. Uh, Sun Pharmaceuticals uh, had undertaken earlier trials against Dengue and they got encouraging results of that. So the phase 1 clinical trials went very well and based on the encouraging results that they got in the phase 1 clinical trials is we decided that we should also try it against COVID-19 and therefore these clinical trials have begun now since yesterday against uh, COVID-19. So sir, how, what is uh, the time duration? How many times it will take uh, for trials? The typically, any clinical trial takes a long time. We are expecting this to get over in about three months or something. And uh, if you talk about the patient, uh, from the, is the patients are from uh, Delhi or all over the country? So uh, this is a multi-centric uh, clinical trial. So not only Delhi, but many other places uh, will be deriving uh, patients from subjects from. So uh, if we compare traditional medicine with the modern modern one. How will uh, explain this ACQH? So as I said, in the modern medicine, for a disease, there is a cause and to suppress that cause, there is one purified uh, molecule that suppresses that cause. And therefore, this purified molecule, one single molecule, what we also call as a drug uh, or a pharmaceutical, that suppresses the cause of the disease and therefore you get rid of the disease. That's modern medicine. Uh, in the traditional knowledge, you don't need to purify a compound. You can take extracts from plants. You know, I mean, our, our rich texts also tell us, Indian dietary rich texts, about the benefits of uh, things like haldi, tulsi, neem, for a variety of different kinds of disorders. 